And now, in more than 20 states in our nation, there is a Trump abortion ban. Many, with no exceptions even for rape and incest, which is immoral, immoral. And let us agree, and I know we do, one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree the government should not be telling her what to do with her body. And if he wins, and if he wins, you can be sure Donald Trump will go further. And he will sign a national abortion ban. And, and, and you know, Project Future. And, and it is a fight for freedom. And it is a fight for freedom. Now, I don't have to tell the folks of New Hampshire, the live free or die state. You know the importance of individual freedoms, fundamental freedoms. You know how hard people fought for these freedoms and that they are foundational to who we are and what we stand for as America, including the fundamental freedom of a woman to make decisions about her own body and not have her government telling her what to do. And understand how we got here. Understand how we got here, and of course, we're not going to fall for the gaslighting he's pushing, right? When he was president, Donald Trump handpicked three members of the United States Supreme Court with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade. And as he intended, they did. And now, in more than 20 states in our nation, there is a Trump abortion ban. Many, with no exceptions even for rape and incest, which is immoral, immoral. And let us agree, and I know we do, one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree the government should not be telling her what to do with her body. And if he wins, and if he wins, you can be sure Donald Trump will go further. And he will sign a national abortion ban. And, and, and you know, Project 2025, which I just, I mean, can you believe they put that thing in writing? And under Project 2025, he would create a national anti-abortion coordinator which would force states, I mean, this is unbelievable, right? Which would force states to report on women's miscarriages and abortions. You know what they are making really quite clear? They just don't trust women. They just don't trust women. But we trust women. We trust women. And when Congress passes a bill to restore reproductive freedom as President of the United States, I will proudly sign it into law. Across our nation, across our nation, across our nation, and I've been traveling for many, many, well, years actually, and certainly months most recently. Across our nation, I'm telling you, we are witnessing a full-on attack on hard-fought, hard-won fundamental freedoms and rights, including the freedom to vote, the freedom to be safe from gun violence, the freedom to breathe clean air and drink clean water, the freedom to love who you love openly and with pride. And 
And so here's what I don't have to tell the folks of New Hampshire, because you know it so well, it's part of your DNA. Generations of Americans before us, they fought for freedom and they led the fight for freedom in our country. And now, the baton is in our hands. The baton Lewis Voting Rights Act and the Freedom to Let us finally pass an assault weapons ban and universal background checks and red flag laws. Because we are clear on that point, it is a false choice to say you're either in favor of the Second Amendment or you want to take everyone's guns away. I'm in favor of the Second Amendment and I know we need reasonable gun safety laws in our country. And there's another point that I'd like to stress about this election in 24. This is not 2016 or 2020. The stakes are even higher this time for a number of reasons, but I'm going to mention one in particular. What the Supreme Court recently did when they basically just told the former president that going forward, he will effectively be immune no matter what he does in the White House. But let's take this seriously and understand what it means. Before, at least, there might have been the threat that there would be consequence and accountability. With that ruling, what this means is that almost explicitly he has been told no consequence. And imagine. Just imagine Donald Trump with no guardrails. Just imagine with no guardrails. He has openly vowed to be a dictator on day one. He has said he would end the independence of the Department of Justice, the United States Department of Justice, so he could have the unchecked power to seek vengeance against people who disagree with him. He even called, for I'm going to quote now, the termination of the Constitution of the United States of America. Let us be very clear. Someone who suggests we should terminate the Constitution of the United States of America should never again stand behind the seal of the President of the United States. Never again. When it comes down to it, we are all here together because we love our country. We love our country. And we know the privilege, the privilege and pride that comes with being an American. And I do believe it is one of the highest forms of patriotism to fight for the ideals of our country. That is how we. voices heard? Do we believe in freedom? Do we believe in opportunity? Yeah.